Now let's try something slightly more difficult. So 6x squared plus 9x. So first we'll look for the highest common factor. So in 6 and 9, the highest common factor is 3. Then we'll check the variables. So both terms have x and the smallest power is just x, like x to the power of 1. So we factorize. So 3x comes outside the bracket and then inside we've got 2x plus 3. So we've packed both terms into one box. Another example. So let's do 12a squared b plus 18ab squared. So step one, let's look at the numbers. So the highest common factor of 12 and 18 is 6. And the second step, let's look at the variables. So both of them have a and b, but the smallest powers are a to the power of 1 and b to the power of 1. So we pull out 6ab. So we get the factorized form, which will be 6ab outside the bracket and 2a plus 3b inside the bracket. Now, notice the pattern. Numbers first, then letters. Now, here's the exam tip. Always check you've fully factorized. Students often stop halfway and miss marks. And remember, bigger boxes just means taking out both numbers and variables. Now, in the next video, we'll use factorizing to actually solve equations and we'll explore its real power.